Oh yeah, here we go. We're getting started now. Oh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, curious about my hands. Hello there, Amy. And all you other wonderful people who joined I can't see the name of. Kimberly, Pyro, Melissa. Sadly, we don't have a real beautiful environment outside to start with, but we do got the lovely sounds of rain for any of you fans out there who love the rain. Maybe you got CCR playing right now. Hearing the song, have you ever seen the rain before? Hey, Mandy. Welcome to the tour, Vicky. We got it going on over here today for our open house. Mr. Baldo ain't scared of nothing. He just gave off a big clap of thunder a moment ago, and Baldo don't care. Baldo's going to be comfy out here. Yes, please share all your friends and family on Facebook. I hope you guys can hear me over the rain. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wi-Fi is a little being a little playful today. Yeah, metal roof and rain doesn't really work together too well, so gotta try and make sure you guys can hear me. Hello, Sandra. Should be telling Baldo hello. Baldo wants to say hey. Oh, sweet little boy. Hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday today. Here at BCR, we got pizza, chairs, cats. Just enjoying our open house time. We're kind of like a little Chuck E. Cheese's while well, all the screaming kitties. Or not kitties, but kids. Our cats do sometimes scream, but only for attention. Mr. Baldo doesn't do much of that though since he's always getting his attention. Cute little boy. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh. All right. Well, Wi-Fi, we're going to move on out of this corner. Go see the Archie who's brave enough to sit out here in the thunder. Hey there, Licorice. Big old Licorice with his little rat tail. He ain't afraid of no rain and thunder. Oh, Mr. Baldo sneezing over there. Hello, Amy. <laughs> Cassie cheeses, yeah. Yeah, that just works just as well. <laughs> oh, Mr. Licker's looking so cute. Looking so cute. Everyone came in to work today for open house, clean up the building. And uh, most of them all got sent home since it was their day off anyway, but we come in anyway for open house and help everyone clean up and everything. Elena tried to send me home, honestly, but I told her, no way, I gotta do a tour, lady. I gotta play with these sweet little cats on camera. Gives me an excuse to just go from room to room playing with them all. Oh, yes, Francis. We, uh, we're in Lumberton, North Carolina. Not Lumberton. St. Paul's, Lum uh, St. Paul's, North Carolina. Right off of 301. If you look up BCR on Google near North Carolina, St. Paul's, you'll find up the exact address. I don't know the street address to be honest, but like I said, Google will get the rest for you. Oh. Big boy licks. Yeah, it does feel pretty hot today. Just jogging across the uh, jogging between houses when it's raining. It's like, oh, oh, it's hot. It's hot. Like Will Smith says, it's hot. Oh. We're going to be open from 12 o'clock to 4 today. Really hoping we get some visitors to come in and play with all the cats. See what we like to do. See the kids that we love taking care of and making them happy. Oh, come in. Oh, they're coming in. 
Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, Valdo. Come on. All right, well, I'm sorry, guys. They know how to work the cat door. I can't stand people who just stand in front of doors and don't move. It gets to me a little bit. When they want to come in, they know how to use the cat door. <laughs> Hope that doesn't make me seem cold. Ooh. It's nice and cold in here, though, thanks to that AC. I know Miss Sophie here is enjoying it. It's not as loud either. All the rain. It's just nice and calm. Oh yeah, Sandra, they love playing with that blue tunnel, especially Wi-Fi. They would just jump in and out, play with it all day, eating wings by himself. Just one of those lovely donations you guys give us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had to close the door and stop all the cold air from getting up. Speaking of coming in, Mr. Licorice seemed to come in. But yeah, the Blue Tone is just one of those nice donations you guys gave us. Those donations that Dixie appreciates so much. And every other cat, of course. Especially like them little, uh, little boxes that company gave us. I know Pebbles in Room 1, or not Room 1, but Room 2 would just sit in all day. There was some bed that, uh, I can't remember her name, but like she donated it to us and ever since Jackie's just been in it in room three, just cradled up in it, won't come out. It's a nice little home. Hey, Brian. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I don't know where you're living at, but here in St. Paul's, it's, it's a stormy day. It's a stormy day. Mr. Yoshi. Hey, boy. Mr. Yoshi always taking up a seat in a lap. Can't get enough of it. That's why you guys need to come on to our open house. Sit here with us so I don't have a... <laughs> you guys need to come down so you can get a cat in your lap. I got way too many already, it seems like. Mr. Yoshi. Yeah, I remember, Brian. Should have came again. We would have loved to have you. I understand, though, if you can't. Uh, it is probably a long trip from where you are. Ooh. Mr. Licker is trying to give me a massage on my side. <laughs> Hello, Maniella. Miss Georgia, laying here all comfy and cold up. Definitely says hello to you. Look at those autumn colors. Oh. Well, Sandra, I hope you stay safe out there from the rain. After all, it's summer, but you can still get quite a bit of cold. Oh, Yoshi. Keep running into me, buddy. Miss Dixie. <laughs> Mr. Jamie, I know this is Elizabeth's favorite kitty here in the whole place. Can't get enough of Mr. Vampire Jamie. Hey there, boy. Why are you looking so pretty? Apparently today's Black Cat Appreciation Day. Every day to me is a Cat Appreciation Day, but today is a certain color of Black Cats. Gotta give all the Black Cats their love. Because sadly, a lot of people just adopt cats out that are black around Halloween and then they kind of just throw them away sadly after. Some of these black cats might even be Halloween cats that just got thrown out, but that's alright. We're going to take real good care of them. <laughs> Give them the big old yawns, Jamie. Oh, like I said, guys, you guys need to be down here open house. Because these cats are, these cats are purring to get in your lap. Can't even sit down on the floor with them for a few moments while they jump in your lap. They rather leave the comfy beds you guys donate just to 
get in a person's lap. How we just started and I already have like a bunch of hair in my mouth? I haven't even had a cat near my face. <laughs> you guys are pretty magical with that stuff. Oh. Alright boy, come on. Hello, jo Hello there, Joan. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. We're gonna go on over to another one of our sweet little black cats. Hey, Nicola, Darla. Hope you're all having a great day. Serena is, as she's getting her daily little butt rubs. Aw. It's so crazy. She doesn't like much attention, but you rub her butt a little bit and she'll throw it all up in the air like Nicki Minaj. Aw, oh, that might have been a little bit mean. Sound mean. Kitty glitter. It's too much glitter. Even when I was in like elementary school, I didn't enjoy glitter that much. At least it's not actual glitter. It's just fur. Fur makes it all right. Don't don't enjoy lolling and just sit in my mouth though. Makes makes talking very difficult. Welcome back, Amy. Ooh. She does not like her face being rubbed. And thank you for the donation, Alexis. Oh, really sweet of you. Have our first little donation here on Open House. Uh, we don't have many guests today, sadly, Joan. A lot of people are kind of afraid of the thunderstorm that's going on outside. Oh. Yeah, though. Like I was saying, thank you so much, Alexis. Being our first donator here on our first... Ugh, in our first few moments of the open house tour. We love to build this tour up. It's kind of like the big tour of the month. Aww. Miss Natasha. <laughs> Natasha doesn't want to react at all. Serena just sitting off to the side watching. Trying to be all cute. You're doing a good job, Serena. You just keep the act up. You keep it going. Sweet little lovey is in our con or climber today. Seems like she wanted to join the peasants down here on the floor. Yeah, Brian, they love being together, it looks like. You can't see Natasha without Serena next door. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't blame you guys not being able to travel and all. It's alright though. We enjoy you seeing the uh, tour and everything. I mean, just giving these cats to your guys' attention is enough for us, to be honest. The more attention the keys have, the more eyes they have on them. Gotta have all the eyes on the world. Ha ugh. Gotta have all the eyes in the world on this lovey here. Thank you for the donation, Anthony. You're a wonderful person. I know the keys think you are too. Well, Alexis and Anthony are two first donors for the open house tour. Ain't that wonderful of them, Miss Lovey? Hey, Caitlin. Uh, Catherine, my bad. I saw, I misread the name. Oh. Gonna take my time to be honest, guys, because they're gonna send me home after I do the store, and I really don't want to go home to Thunderstore. <laughs> hey, Lady Willow, I drive a pretty old car that will possibly fall apart on me if there's just a slight bit of wind. <laughs> Miss Willow looks like she's happy today. Oh, she's getting up for us. Don't worry, Darla. I'm in love with Lovey, too, to be honest. Yesterday, by accident, I accidentally, uh... <laughs> we were calling off the names and went Lovey, then Dixie. But instead of saying Dixie, I just went Lovey Dovey. And just called Dixie Dovey by accident. Same thing like Smudge, when I called them Smuckers. Aww. Oh. 
Let's go on now, room one. See what's popping in room two. Looks like one of our visitors is already getting acquainted with Mr. Joey Bean. Hey there, Hermes. Hello, sir. You having a good day? Yeah. It's wonderful. So you got a cat massaging your shoulders up there. <laughs> Mr. Joey Bean. That's why you guys need to all come down to the open house because you get a personal massager on your shoulders. <laughs> Mr. Joey Bean here would do it for free. <laughs> Mr. Oreo taking up the usual position, the banana bed. Making sure it's warm and snuggly for everyone who wants to come in and out of the rain. <laughs> Miss Greta wants to join me as always. Sweet little pair. <laughs> Poor little Ella hiding on the climber. She must be afraid of thunder. Oreo's about to knock me off balance here. Hey there, Ella. Are you afraid, Ella? I know you ain't afraid of no rain, girl. Ella's too feisty to be afraid of a little bit of thunder. <laughs> Mr. Oreo. Always oh, trying to look his look his best on tour. Hey there, Hermes. Everyone's just gathering up here in room two, making it real easy for me. <laughs> Comes Mr. Poppy. <laughs> he loves getting his ears rubbed. Hey guys, these guys will just, they'll love on you throughout the whole entire open house. You can sit here for four hours and then never get tired. <laughs> oh. Mr. Felix sitting back, looking happy as always. Sadly, he sounds a little congested, so we'll take care of that on third tour. guy. Hey, Dad, he only has one nostril. Yeah, Penny, it's hard not to love Mr. Hermes. Just look how adorable he is. He's always asking for attention. Mr. Felix getting jealous. Going on the love to himself, it seems like. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go see who's on outside. As always, Miss Honey's out here, not minding the rain at all. Followed by Miss Pebble and our lovely Mr. Pipsqueak. Ooh, hello there, honey. How you looking so beautiful as always? So soft and silky. I heard someone in the uh, chat talking about how soft the cat's hair was. If you want to touch some soft hair, there's some soft cat hair right here. My God, I wish I had her as a pillow. 
That sounds a little horrible, though, to be honest. But she would make such a good one. I mean, God, I wish you guys would feel how soft she is. It's like cotton. It's like she's just got a fur coat of cotton. <laughs> Scotty is a good pillow. Yes, it's raining. It's a, it's a pretty big thunderstorm right now, to be honest. It sounded like cannons were going off a few moments ago when thunder was hitting. That's kind of why I think Ella was hiding under the climber. Poor girl. She gets stressed out about everything. But I guess that's what happens when you're a queen. Oh. <laughs> okay, she's just giving kitty biscuits. Angora? Angora. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I never heard that before. Is that like a fabric, Susan? Suzanne? If that's a soft fabric, I gotta get some of that. Because like I said, Miss Sonya would make a perfect pillow. Uh, speaking and laying on a pillow, here's Miss Pebbles right now. Just laying down on our cushion right here, enjoying the sound of the rain outside, hitting across the metal roof. Aww. <laughs> Queen of everything. Oh, it's a yarn. Okay. I've never, I've never heard of that before. Gotta get some yarn and just wrap my pillow up in it. Have that honey feel. That straight up honey feel. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Look at that beautiful face. I'm gonna use the sweaters, wow. Yeah, there's gotta be some comfy sweaters right there. Might actually not mind wearing one if I can get some of that. Hey there. Aw. Uh, there you go on pit squeak. There you going, buddy. Coconut is another soft kitty, to be honest. That's a cat you just can't stop touching. <laughs> I love Pip Squeak. He's so calm and chill. Such a peaceful little boy. Mr. Joey being still at work, it looks like. <laughs> Alright. Back in the senior citizen's room. 
I was talking about Jackie in that bed that someone donated. As proof right here, Miss Jackie's still in that bed, refuses to leave. Gonna have to call the FBI, the Coast Guard, the National Guard. Gonna have to call the whole military to get Jackie out here. Jackie loves his bed. She only comes out though when she wants to eat though. It's funny because one time she uh, got out of the bed and go eat. And right after she got out, Miss Penny came right up and like, Ooh, I'm getting that soft bed. Yeah, sorry, Sandra. Like I said, the rain's, the rain's pouring, honestly. CCR is, is definitely, it's definitely going to get a hit out of their song. Have you seen the rain? Because you can see the rain today. Aw, she's being sweet to fester. That's very rare. I've never she'd seen her do that before. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Cap Ka yeah, Kathleen Reed. Thank you so much for that donation. For that donation we can go buy plenty of food. Heck even more Armok or Armacat Armacat beds, yeah. We can go to buy more Armacat beds, so there are kitties who want to like lay in bed like Jackie. They can have their own bed to lay in. They don't have to fight Jackie for hers. Oh, Such a sweet girl. Look at that. Fester's giving her kisses. Trying to sweeten her up and get out of her bed so he can get in there. Thank you, little Mr. Fester. Thank you so much, Alyssa, Anthony, Kathleen. Wonderful people for your donations. And it's not just me and the company who appreciate it, but also the cats. Can you call BCR company? I really don't know. Our charity appreciates it, that's why I should say. Speaking of Fester, <laughs> that course someone's laying on it. Someone actually donated a bed that actually says Uncle Fester on it. So, Mr. Fester, Mr. Fester always comes on over here and just lays in the bed. That his wonderful sponsor donated to him. Ah, uh, I don't know, Penny. It's uh, the labels right here. Arma, Armar Cat, Armar Cat. So if maybe you want to find that bed, it's right there. It's a sweet little bed. I mean, for a small cat like Miss Jackie, she definitely loves it. Especially your cat really loves boxes. I think it's the perfect thing for him. Miss Angel, hey girl. What's going on with your pre self? Oh. Hey there, Elvira. Looking so beautiful. You're welcome, Penny. Hope you're able to see that label. If you didn't, you can always rewind and go back and see it. After all, it starts off right in the beginning of room three, so. Sweet old Miss Elvira. Got her little two fat sacks down here. Aww. That was so beautiful. Aww. Yeah, I caught you beautiful. What you gonna do about it, girl? What you gonna do about it? Oh, our chair box has joined us. Miss Lily, right beside Mr. Big Old Boone. And coming up in the rear, Mr. Skipper. I hope someone here sponsors these three kitties. Because if uh, 
If you do, you got a trio of lovingness right here. Sorry, a quadrupleness of loving as Mr. Fester joins in. I'm being backed up in a corner. Someone please send help because uh, I might die to some adorableness right now. An overdose of cuteness. <laughs> All the things I say are so stupid. It's a mouse pad pouch. I like that, Maja. That's cute. It's not that big either, so mouse pouch does make sense. Oh, I get my foot unstuck from underneath me. Scared Lily a little bit there, but she's all right. Hello there, Zion. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. It's not a bad way to go, Michelle, but I'm still young. I'm not young and never had love before, but I'm still young, so I would like to be a little bit older. Yes, as Suzanne says, you can be a sustainer for as little as $1 per month just to give to any cat. Just give as much as you can, basically. So, like, if you can't afford to be a sponsor, you can give the least amount you can and just still say you help your kitty as best as you can. I feel like I, I use a lot of the same words there, so please don't, don't judge me. Like everyone knows when they watch my tour, I'm still a little bit lacking in brain when it comes to recording myself, petting a cat and going on and on about our features are just endless. We got a lot of features, honestly. For you guys here, I just walked by and seen Will in here doing his tour. I'm a, I'm a cat avalanche, basically. <laughs> yes. It won't go away. They love you so much. That's why we need more people to open the house. Yes. We need more laps for. Kimberly says you're doing a great job, William. Oh, thank you. William always does a good job with these tours. I just wanted to turn it around real quick and show you guys. This is what happens when you sit down. This is why we try not to sit yeah. down during tour because yeah. it makes it difficult. <laughs> But you can have your camera back, but you might want to see. I gotcha. The lens. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh. See all of them in the distance. Miss Olivia sitting there in bed. <laughs> They're surrounding me. Hey there. Hey, Molly. <laughs> I like Zion's uh, little comment. You can't always be young forever, but you can always be immature forever. Oh, sorry, guys, gotta get up. That made me laugh, as Zion. <laughs> I just hope I can say your name correctly. I never feel like I am. You say it over in check constantly, but <laughs> I'm just not good at it, so I apologize. But I do plan on being immature forever. I can't take anything serious. Well, besides relationships and all that, and jobs and bills, but jokes? No. I'm always going to laugh at immature jokes. <laughs> oh, Olivia. Sweet girl. Thank you so much for your donation, Mindy. I like that name. Mindy. You hear me a lot of people name Mindy. <laughs> oh, Lily. Let's go on outside and see the our kitties. Once again, sorry for the noise as the rain just doesn't start coming down. Uh, Miss Penny. I gotta say, Miss Penny here has got to be pretty lucky to be deaf right now because, my God, it's so loud I can barely hear myself talk. Yeah, as everyone says in chat, thank you very much, Mandy. You're a wonderful person for that donation. Heck, even you, Anthony, and Alexis, and Kathleen, you're all wonderful people. 
And so are all you just watching tour, just chilling and laughing with me. Watch me love on these sweet little kitties. You're all amazing people. After all, I can't believe you're all just sitting here watching me be immature and just young and stupid basically while I play with kitties. I get that beautiful shot sometimes, you know. No, I mean, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, I like that name, to be honest, it's way easier. It's probably the easiest name for me to say on here. None me. That's really simple. Yeah. You know, I just realized, Molly, you were in there while I was loving up on you. You tricked me. I thought you were a new kid I hadn't loved up on yet, but you were just, you were sitting in there beside me. A little trickster. Sweet little trickster. Don't worry guys, we'll we'll soon get to the house tour in house two. Oh. Miss Molly loves sitting in people's laps and just grueling on them. Just for a warning for anyone who might come to the next open house. Molly does love sitting in people's lap, but she also loves growing them. Alright, bro. Come on. I know, I know. You'll get some more later, girly. I promise. Oh, these cats, they love, they love getting their attention, that's for sure. Yeah, Sherry, this is Molly right here. Our sweet little girl, Molly. Tricking me again into loving her on something, loving her some more. Hey there, Cassie. Surprised she isn't running away, to be honest. She's usually very shy around here. Oh, don't you worry, Sherry. She's getting plenty of loves. That's why she's drooling everywhere. She's so excited and happy about all the love she's getting. Oh, come on. It's Black Cat Appreciation Day, Cassie. Let me appreciate you some. Let me appreciate your beauty a little bit more. Ah. Oh, Penny. Uh, I don't really know why I am. Or he's on. Uh, I think it's something to do with her kidneys or something like that. I think she has kidney problems. I really don't know, to be honest. If you go up on her page on BCR, though, I'm sure they'll tell you. It's been a while, though, since she's been shaved, so... It's nothing recent, thankfully. I don't think it is. Hopefully it's not. God, you're really making me paranoid now. A little... I don't know. Christine. Okay, Christine. Okay. Way easier. God, I'm, I heart, I'm very apologetic about the whole name problem we have, it's Christine. Alright. Go on the room floor. Let's go to room four. Crazy kitty room. 
But yeah, though, Christina, I'm, I don't know how you deal with me. You're always here with every tour I do. You're always having to put up with the fact I'm saying your name completely wrong, even though you type it out how to say it. Oh. Making me feel stupid every time, but it's funny. <laughs> it's completely my fault, obviously. But Christine would be way easier, remember? Hey there, Rudy. Rudy and Candy. Obviously, not minding the, uh, the noise at all outside. Poor girl just sitting here giving key biscuits to her little bed thing is so huge compared to her she could basically fit a whole nerd tire candy in there with her oh Rudy Rudy boy oh Mr. Rudy what are you doing why are you always in my lap you never leave my lap buddy <laughs> I'm glad Candy's having that good kind of mood. <laughs> oh, Emily. Emily wants to join in beside her. Ah. <laughs> hey, Charity. They're, uh, the supervisor. Else too is uh, rushing me to get done with so they can get their turn. So very sorry guys, I'm at to rush this last room a little bit. Oh charity. Oh Carrie, I'm not putting myself down really. I say negative things about myself all the time. It's kind of like the negative things I hear from other people. It's just gotten to the point where they hardly bother me. It's more of me just putting myself down as an explanation for why I do the things I do. Welcome to the tour, Liza, Debbie. We're about to move on over to house too. Hopefully the phone survives through the hard rain and thunder out there. Miss Pixie's gonna miss you guys though, that's for sure. Sleep up, girl. Ooh. Got up without using my hands. Mickey's looking a little frightened down here. Afraid of the rain, it looks like. Poor boy. <laughs> Smudge, you can't swallow the phone. Oh, you can block the camera though with your tail, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate the fact you guys love my tours. Like I always say, I try my best for him. <laughs> Mickey trying to get in my lap while Rudy does too. Mickey. Come on, Mickey. He's trying to play. I'm trying to play with Mickey, guys, and you're all just jumping in front of him. guy guy doesn't get enough love he gets plenty of love but I'm talking about the amount he wants pretty sure Mickey would love to sit in everyone's lap in the world hey Richie you look like you're trying to sleep so I'll let you go back to sleeping <sighs> wrap up the keys on out here and Oh, blast on our house too. I mean, house one, the house two. Hey there, Casper. Sweet ghosty Casper, followed by the Quingy Emily. And speaking of Quingy, we got a sweet old Sandy doing little circles for us. Aww, looking so good. Looking so good, Sandy. Okay, Sandy, you can't do that now. We gotta keep going. Whew. Speaking of my girl, 
Here's my sweet girl, Lisa Lisa. Also just known as Lisa. I just like adding on the extra Lisa for cuteness. Sweet little jewel. Hey, girl. All right. I'm sorry, guys, if I didn't get love on your certain cat as much as the others. Like I said, house two is ready for their turn, and they're going to get it. <laughs> Looks like Rudy wants to go out there and join them. All right, Melinda, you ready? No. <laughs> All right, guys. We start to buffer. Never fear. We're just switching internets. And do that for you. Rain. And running through the rain. Probably. All right. All right. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. All right, into room one. I don't know if you guys saw the beautiful weather that we traveled through the houses in. Just, just a lovely, lovely, gorgeous North Carolina day today. <laughs> All right, into house one we go. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, Suze, the valet definitely came inside. Oh, I'm sure we can find someone to chicken dance for us, Berlin. <laughs> this is Dennis. Dennis came to us from Memphis, Tennessee. He is a very, very sweet boy. Sweet baby. House two has blind, leukemia positive, and FIV positive kitties. This room here is leukemia FIV combination. This is Dobby. Dobby is a very sweet little fella. Hey, Nicola. Hey, I own Gina, Berlin, Brian, Rissa, Catherine, Albert, anyone else, Suze, anyone else that I missed? I'm very glad you could all join us. Dobby is super playful. He's a lot of fun. We are <clears throat> located in St. Paul's, North Carolina. If you're close, even with the rain, come take a ride out and visit the babies. Although you do, Sherry, sorry I didn't see you. Um, yeah, I know who you are, Marissa. Um, yeah, if, if you're close, come on out and see us. Don't let the rain keep you away. Come in, spend your time playing with the kitties. <laughs> Yay! Finally, and now I'll have to watch it back to see what I said I own because I'm not sure. <laughs> Dobby is a super playful little fella. You don't have to wait until an open house to come visit the babies, though. Hey, Jen, I'm glad you were able to make it. I've got some pictures to send you. Ooh, fancy. Very nice, I own. That makes me super happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to wait until an open house to come and visit the babies. You're more than welcome any day, Monday through Saturday, um, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
I will tell you though, if you show up before noon, we will put you to work and it is hard labor. So if, oh, thank you so much, Linda, for your donation. <laughs> so if you, uh, if you just wanna play with the babies, show up any day after 12 o'clock noon and it is strictly playing with these sweet kitties. <laughs> I am trying to love other babies, but Dobby says today I am all his. He does not want to share. He just wants to do a little nibbling. Maybe some bunny kicks. Oh, I've got some pictures to send you later, Jen. I did not fit in the pineapple house, but Kinsey nearly did. So that'll be super fun. Oh, Sorry, Dennis. Here we have Rusty. Rusty Bucket is a very sweet boy. He came to us out of the swamp. <laughs> um, he was very sick, very emaciated, had... Dobby does think I'm delicious. He has not let me go. He grabbed a hold of my hand again. Um, Rusty came out of the swamp. He was very emaciated infested with parasites fleas ticks other things um he was just very very sick as you can see sweet rusty has not missed a meal in a very long time is no longer plagued with fleas or ticks or anything else that would take this sweet boy's nutrients <laughs> yes i know i love you too dobby <laughs> so Rusty has been able to flourish in all of his wonderful girth. Huh, Rusty. Yes, good boy. Oh, I love you, yes. Dobby's like, hey, that was my hand. I know, Rust. I'm sorry. Dobby stole the hand. Rusty is just the sweetest boy. <laughs> Dobby and Dennis have been in here just playing and going nuts all morning. It's been so funny. If you want to watch the kitties, we have Zimoto cameras that run live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can watch the babies anytime you'd like. Sweet Andrew. Oops, sorry about that. Andrew came to us from Florida. He's such a sweet boy. We are a nonprofit. We're a hundred percent donation funded. The easiest way to help these sweet babies is just hit the donate button right on your screen. You can also go to www.blindcatrescue.com. You can find all of the ways to help the babies sponsor or sustain. Their Amazon and Walmart wish lists are on there. The things they like the best, the things we use the most. Oh, <laughs> hi to you too, Mandy, and I'm absolutely not being rude either. Oh. That reminds me, speaking of not being rude, I would like to um, ask you very, very kindly, please don't post any moving gifts, gifs, whatever those thingies are, um, in the comments section. We have some folks that it, um, some supporters that it causes seizures when they see them and that's no fun for anyone. So uh, yeah, uh, please don't post any of those. We're very grateful for that, thank you. Anyway. These sweet babies. The easiest way to help is just hit the donate button right on your screen. You can also go to www.blindcatrescue.com. You can find all of the ways to help. Their Amazon and Walmart wish lists. You can like and share the videos, do the daily clicks and the daily quizzes on the Facebook page. Those are free ways to help, but they really, really, um, they really do help. If you use Fresh Step Kitty Litter at home, but you don't use your paw points, you can donate those to the babies as well. 
Uh, we put your points with a bunch of other people's points and get pallets of kitty litter out of it. It saves us about a or about a thousand dollars a month, which we're able to put towards veterinary care and other things that the babies need. Um, which we are very, very grateful for. A lot of these kitties had never even seen a vet before they came to us. Um, you know, a lot of them were just neglected or not cared for or <clears throat> you just in bad situations. So we're very grateful that you allow us to give them the proper vet care to keep them as healthy and happy as we can for as long as we can. Huh. Also, their food, their bedding, their litter, uh, everything, everything these sweet babies have and use is thanks to your kindness and your generosity. Sweet babies like Andrew and all hundred plus of our kitties would have never made it out of their respective situations were it, if it weren't for your kindness. We have not seen Lurch yet, Julie. He's coming up shortly. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I said a great big thank you to everyone who helps support these babies. Here we have Creamsicle. Creamsicle is a very sweet boy. Happily napping. Yes, you're super cute, sir. Here we have Thurston. Thurston is a very handsome fella. A little crinkly ear. He's adorable. Huh, babe? Yes. Thurston was extremely diabetic. His blood sugar numbers were crazy through the roof. He was completely insulin dependent. Twice a day he got insulin. Um, with proper vet care and, and proper diet, this sweet boy is no longer insulin dependent. His blood sugar number his blood sugar numbers are wonderful now. He is a very happy boy, very active. And the care that we're able to get for to get for him, the medication that we're able to use, the even the insulin itself, everything is thanks to you guys. I really really want you to know how very grateful that we are for for you allowing us to give these sweet babies a second chance at a happy life. Hello, Bear Butt. Here we have Bear. Bear is a Manx, meaning he has no tail. You can't really see in there, but he has no tail. Just a sweet little Bear Butt. Bear loves to chase you around the room and demand hugs while you're cleaning. It's adorable. Here we have our sweet old man, Charles. Well, let's see if we can get over here and see these gorgeous eyes. Charles is such a handsome fella. Charles' um, original owner was suffering from the onset of dementia, Alzheimer's, one of those. Um, and we are in room one in house two. Um, he was, his owner was suffering from the onset of dementia or Alzheimer's, senility, one of those, um, and was no longer able to care for herself, let alone this sweet baby. Um, so Charles had, he was starving. He had an entire mouth full of very painful, rotten, broken teeth. He was just, he was just in awful condition. And this is just, he is the sweetest kitty y'all. He is just the sweetest kitty. And to have to go through that just, it really just breaks my heart. Although now his, his dull gray eyes are a beautiful baby blue. Well, hello to you in Australia. His, 
his fur that was dingy, almost brown looking with flea dirt is a gorgeous, gorgeous cream color like it's supposed to be. Oh, Thurston. You know, I've, I've heard some of these people say, some, um, some people say that some of these kitties are, um, <laughs> that they're part of the BCR miracle, but really the miracle is how generous you guys are, how much you allow us to do for these sweet babies. That you, that because of your kindness and generosity, these kitties are able to have the time to get comfortable and healthy that, um, that we're able to give them a forever home where they never have to worry about losing their home or where their next meal is coming from or if someone's going to hurt them or they're safe and loved and well fed and happy forever. Hey lady, nice to see you. Aw, Jen, thank you so much for your donation.